Welcome to this video about the order of operations and it is, it is very important that you take some time to think about the order of operations because many students, many people make mistakes uh, with it and unnecessarily. Yeah? So I'm going to make a few videos about it and you can check my site explainingmaths.com um, to see all my resources uh, there. Good. Now I wrote down 5 plus uh, 2 times 3 um, and you, I want you to evaluate it. So what is the answer to that? And then uh, some people, or quite a few actually, are going to say, well, 5 plus 2, that is 7 times 3. And I'm going to give the answer 21. Yeah, and that unfortunately is absolutely wrong. The answer is not 21. Because I did not do the correct order of the operations. Because plus and times are different operations and multiplication is what we call more important than addition. And therefore I have to multiply first before I add. So the order of operations will be 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 5. So the answer actually is 11. So the order of operation matters. And how can you, or what different types of operations do we have? Yeah, so we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We have indices. Do you know what an index is? Like, let's say, 5 to the power 2. Yeah? That's an index or order, some people say, which means 5 times 5, so 25. And then we have brackets as well. Yeah? So 5 plus 2 inside brackets uh, minus 4, for instance. Okay. But how do I know which operation to do first? What is the order of operations? Okay. And then we have a little trick, and we call that bit mass and some people call it bot mass, to remind ourselves of the order of operation. And the most important operation is at the top and the least important at the bottom. So bit mass stands for brackets first, then indices or order, yeah, so it depends, you say bit mass or bot mass, but it means the same thing, yeah, so 5 to the power 2 or 4 to the power 3. So brackets first, indices, then division, then multiplication, then addition and at the very end you'll do subtraction. So if I very quickly uh, write down an expression, um, let me take this away. So for instance, uh, what shall I do? 5 plus 2 to the power 3 times uh, 4 plus 1. Okay, so bit mass, what do I do first? Well, first of all I have to work out the brackets. But even if I look in the brackets, 5 plus 2 to the power of 3, do I add first or do I first do the index? And then I first have to work out the index because it's more important. So I'm just going to rewrite, or I'm going to copy the brackets, 5 plus 2 to the power of 3, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Yeah, don't say it's 6, no, it's 8 times 4 plus 1. So now I have the brackets, a multiplication and an addition. So what do I do first? First I work out the brackets. Uh, so 13 times 4 plus 1. What do I do then? Multiplication or addition? Multiplication is above addition, so I multiply first 4 times... <laughs> Excuse me, there was a sneeze coming from nowhere. Um, yes, thank you very much. 4 times 13 is uh, 52 plus 1. So the final answer is 53. So bit mass or bot mass standing for brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. And uh, it is important to, to know this rule, to know which operation to do first, what the order of operations is. Okay, my next video, just some example questions yeah, uh, to see if you really understand and you can check my site explainingmaths.com for all my resources there. You can also ask me any questions you have. Um, so I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.